Hey guys, so I'm going to go over with you guys a little bit of work before we start our math lesson today. Let's review a little bit. Remember that these are my ones. If I have 10 of them, I can stick them together and make a 10 stick. And then yesterday we were introduced that if I have 10 of these 10s, I can stick those 10 together. 10 10s. Oh, Miss Quillen's 10s are falling off. Oh, I need one more. There he is. Ten of those ten stuck together make one of these hundred flats. So ten ones make a ten. Ten tens make a hundred. So let's quickly review this. Ten tens make one of those hundreds. Ten tens is the same as one hundred. Twenty tens is the same as two hundreds. 30 tens is the same as 3 hundredths, 40 tens is the same as 4 hundredths, 50 tens is the same as 5 hundredths, 60 tens is the same as 6 hundredths, 70 tens is the same as 7 hundredths, 80 tens is the same as 8 hundredths, 90 ten is the same as 90 hundredths, and I can use 110s to make 10 of these hundreds things, which becomes this huge cube, which turns into a thousand. You guys will get into that later, okay? So I'm actually going to email your parents this packet here, and I'll print some out too. This is what I call my little cheat sheet kind of thing to help you guys study and help you, it'll help you understand a little bit more that if I stick, if I have 100 ones, I can stick them together first to make 10 tens, and then I can stick those 10 tens together to make 100, okay, a 100. These are all the same. 100 ones is the same as 10 tens, which is the same as 100. 200 ones is the same as 20 tens, and that's the same as 200s. So even 200 ones is the same. It takes 200 of these, 200 little ones to make two of these hundreds flat. Okay, so I have them going all the way up to 1,000. So I will send these out to your parents for you guys to have. So your lesson today is not in your math book. It's actually a separate worksheet, okay? It's from a different math book that I got. So it says worksheet page 295. 296, 297, and 298, okay? So this one's just a little bit of fun. You're gonna use your crayons to do this. It says color each stamp yellow and count the stamps by ones. So you're gonna get your crayons out and color each stamp yellow. So just start coloring. After you color all of them yellow, I want you to count by ones. One, two, three, four, okay? Then the next set of directions says circle groups of 10 in green to show the tens. So you can circle this way or this way, it doesn't matter. Circle, circle 10 groups of 10 and then count by tens to 100. It says with a classmate, you'll have to count with a family member instead and then circle 100 stamps in red to show a hundred. So we're gonna actually box it. All right, so that's just kind of for fun. And then this is what I was showing you earlier. 100 ones is the same as 10 tens, which is the same as one of these hundreds. So it takes 100 of these ones or 10 of these tens to make one of these. Okay, if I have two of these, two of these hundreds, it, I have to make it with 20 tens. 10, 10 tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 tens, to make two of these hundreds, I need another 10 tens, so that's 20 tens. And if I were to make it with ones, I would need 200 of them because it takes 100 to cover one of them takes 200 to cover two of them. All right, so right here, this one's easy, it's already up here. How many of these 100 flats do I have? I have one of them. 
How many tens did it take to make this? How many tens did it take? Remember, we just did it up here. It takes 10 tens to make one of those. And if I were to make it with ones, we know that it takes 100 ones to make just one of these. Okay, well, what if I have one, two, three of these, three of these hundreds? One, two, three. This is what it would look like. Three of those, how many tens would it take? It takes 10 to make 100, plus another 10 makes 200, plus another 10 tens makes three of those hundreds. So how many tens is that? 10 plus 10 more is 20, plus 10 more is 30. It takes 30 tens. And remember that it takes 100 of these ones. This is 100 ones plus another 100 ones plus another 100 ones. It takes 300 ones to make three of those 100 flats. Okay, all right. So we're going to go backwards now. We're going to think about the ones. 500 ones. How many tens can we make with that? And how many hundreds? I like to go ahead and think about the hundreds. 500 ones makes five of those hundreds. And then I can count by 10 five times because I know it takes 10 to make one of these. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 tens. All right, same thing. If I have 600 ones, I'm going to come over here. I know that that makes six of those hundreds. How many tens does it take? 10 tens makes 100. 20 tens is 200. 30 tens is 300. 40 tens is 400s. 50 tens is 500s. 60 tens is six of those hundreds. All right. And I want you to think about, is 100 the same as 10 tens? 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 10, 100 is the same as 10 tens. And how do we know? Because it takes 1 10 to make a 10. And if I count by tens, I get to 1 10 tens. Count by 10, 10 times, it gets to me to 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10 tens is 100. Okay, so you guys are going to do the rest of this the on my own. Do the same exact thing we just did. Telling me how many 100 flats, how many tens it takes to make it, and how many ones it would take to make it. Down here, you can do the same thing I did over here. I told, I'm sorry, over here. I looked at the number and I did the hundreds first and then I counted by tens till I got to that number and it told me. Okay, down here, it's kind of a mixture of it. Tens, hundreds, ones, tens, so pay attention to that. And then on the back, you guys are going to solve some problems. I want you, just like we did yesterday, I want you to draw pictures, okay? Draw pictures to help you. How many hundreds? You're trying to figure out how many hundreds. She's got coins. She does 30 piles of 10. So you're counting by 10 30 times. So I want you to draw 10 sticks, 30 10 sticks. One, two, three, four, five, and keep going. I want you to draw 30 of them because we're counting by tens. 30 piles of 10 or you can do it, um, you can skip count if you'd like, okay? All right, and those of you that are working on multiplication can do that, which it's actually not, it's, you don't wanna put the big number in here, you wanna tell how many of these flats you can make, okay? Or you could even draw the flats, 10, 20, 30, okay? All right, either one.
10 sticks, you could draw 30 10 sticks, or you can count by tens. I know there are 10 tens and 100. 10 tens and 100. All right, this one, this one. How many ones are in four hundreds? How do you know? And you can discuss the whole, how many ones it takes to make one of those hundreds. All right, guys, we will talk about this later on Zoom.